but cookie cutter shark is a peculiar animal. It's only 42 to 56 centimeters in length and is more of a parasite than an actual hunter. It lives in warm ocean waters around islands and has been recorded swimming 3.7 kilometers deep. Its body is long and cylindrical. It has large eyes with boneless dorsal fins and a large caudal fin. Its underside has light-emitting photospores, which help it camouflage itself from anything swimming underneath, and has a dark color around its throat and gills. It got its name from the way it eats, which is biting down onto an animal and cutting out a near-perfect circle of flesh. Most times this does not harm the animal, but it leaves a deep scar. It does swallow smaller animals, such as squid hole, but this is its main hunting method. A fun story was when a group of cookie-cutter sharks during the Cold War would mistakenly assume Soviet and American subs to be whales and cut out parts of them, which would damage their systems. The two sides believed it would be sabotage until a Soviet sub resurfaced with some cookie-cutter sharks still attached, which led to the species' discovery. The cookie-cutter shark is a much more stealthy fish and is built to hover in water, waiting for a prey animal to come by. This animal rarely interacts with humans and is not sought after in the fishing world, and so it is listed as least concern in its environmental status. This species was described by French naturalists jean Ren constant Quay and Joseph Paul Remar in 1817 to 1820. They documented this creature in Voyage autour du monde sur le couvercle de SM Lurani et les Fusiessons the 13-volume report done by Captain Louis de Fraissinet. And this is its basic rundown of the cookie-cutter shark. Now time for next animal bio.